Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to another video post of Confessions of an Agent. We are continuing our educational series of things a business owner should know or things a business owner might want to know. Starting up a new business or been in business for a long stretch of time. Um, today, we are discussing delegating growth, ensuring that tasks are accountable, or ensuring tasks are held accountable. How do you do that? How do you measure that? How do you determine whether or not you're growing? You know, a couple angles of that. So, delegating growth. So, for for one, you want to know what your your capacity is. We talked about capacity in an episode or two ago, um, and we we discuss the fact that matters. You have to ask yourself: Do you have it? Are the right people in each chair to perform the tactics uh, to reach the goal, the overall goal of the agency or the business or or whatnot? Um, once you determine your capacity and you determine what are the clear uh, tasks that each person has? You got to make sure that you actually establish a clear and precise goal. Not only for the agency, but for each person that you have in each position. What are their clear, pre precise expectations? Now, your clear goals are going to determine your growth. And it's going to determine your retention, I guess you can say. For me, I'm going to talk about what we do here in this agency. So I have two clear goals for this agency, growth and retention. Um, that's kind of why I single, singled out how to delegate the growth and ensuring the tasks are held accountable. Because these are the things that I know for sure that I'm trying to do with my agency. If there's things that you think I can improve on, share with me. Let me know. Um, but I have clear goals about what our growth goal is and our retention goal. Um, I have daily expectations for the team and I have systematic tracking. And along with that daily expectations and that systematic tracking, um, I'm doing some coaching. And that is how I lead to my team accountability. You know, because if you're not doing the daily task, then I know for sure that you're not pushing the envelope on our lead indicators or our clear goals. So those are just simple things um, as far as being able to precisely give delegation away to make sure that you're ensuring growth. So I develop clear tasks, clear goals for each person um, because I understood what my capacity was. And then once I understood what my capacity was and I gave them clear, precise goals, I said, okay, how do I track that? You know, how do I know if you are winning for the day or if you're losing for the day? Because you do not want to get into a situation where you you have uh, six months that went by and you're like, where where am I at in my business, my business plan? You know, I said in my business plan, I was going to do this, 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 and this. But how do I know I'm going to get there? How do you track that? You do not want to track it six months out from the start day. You want to start tracking it from day one. And from day one, you're going to tweak stuff periodically. You know, I don't encourage changing stuff, the whole system overall, because it's like you're doing repetitive work or redundant work, I should say. So you want to make sure that your business plan is outlined pretty good in the first place. And you want to make sure you, that your business plan precisely identifies your capacity and your clear goals. And then once you get that, the tracking or the systematic tracking that you will put in place are the things that you might tweak here and there. You know, it might be your, your compensation plan. But again, those are things that you want to kind of take a look at. So I'm going to stop it right here. And I want to leave a panel open or discussion open for people to kind of give me some input. Um, please leave me a review on Google. Any questions, comments, you can find me on Facebook Messenger. Um, find me on Facebook um, in general as well. Um, leave a comment on the post that I actually post here. LinkedIn, um, you can come, uh, yeah, pull up the website, insurewithlarry.com, and I'm asking for feedback. 
what do you have in place to delegate your agency or your business growth? You know, what do you have in place to de delegate your business growth? How do you ensure that tasks are held accountable from your people that you have working with you? Um, again, looking for feedback. Give me some thoughts, and we'll continue this before we move on to the service, um, the, the, what I think is the way of life of the business. But I will continue the delegating growth, ensuring the tasks are held accountable for tomorrow. We're going to do a part two of this. We're going to keep it short today because I, I kind of want to give you that outline of what we talked about as far as knowing your capacity, your clear goals, and then your systematic tracking. So tomorrow, depending on the responses, um, I'll go into a little bit more in depth of what I would consider your daily expectations and how you track those daily expectations. So next time, this is Agent Larry Kimbrough.